<clears throat> right now I'm in a um, queue because the server is currently full. Full. This happened yesterday, and I kept getting an error. Um, and I tried to report it to them, but they had like some really complicated thing you had to do if you were gonna report it. And if you if you didn't do the complicated thing, then they said the report would be useless. So I ended up not doing it, and see today the server isn't full. There's no error today, but now the server's full again. So I guess I'm just gonna be here for for the rest of the. the I don't know. Well, I guess I can just take the time to just relax here and just talk about. So I went back and watched um, watched the first few minutes of uh, this video of this um, recording session. I guess you could say. And I. I was reminded of a topic there. I was talking about something and then I didn't actually finish that thought. Is the thing about insects I've been seeing lately. Um, cause I saw... So I saw a wasp, uh, the other, the other night. And then last night, I saw another insect. And it was like a big moth or something. And it was on my brother's door. And, uh, so it was like right next to the bathroom. You know, in the bathroom. Yep, and so it was there. And it was there for a pretty long time, too. And that was around 4 o'clock. And uh, I actually went to sleep at 4.30. I really did not want to go to sleep at 4.30, but it ended up happening. But not after choking it to a wholesome yuri hentai. I tell you. You know, it's quite annoying. You know. My father always coming into the coming into the room oh, every every hour of the day. Every hour of the day. Even at four AM, you know. I was pretty f pissed off about that. But anywho, I went to bed at four thirty. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep. But I actually was able to fall asleep, I think. Uh, I was able to enter a state of drowsiness in which... So I set an alarm for 5 a.m. And I'm pretty sure it worked because I woke up with my phone in my bed. And... Uh, why did that not work the first time? This thing like you are number whatever in the queue. That didn't work the first time. So So I set an alarm for five AM, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I actually set two alarms and one of my alarms is um has has um light. And it started lighting up, and I was like, what? This is too early for it to be lighting up. So I pulled the plug on it. And... And then, so my phone alarm was to go off at 5 a.m. But I don't remember going... I don't remember the alarm going off. So I guess I must have been able to fall asleep in those 30 minutes. And then, that is my best hypothesis I have. And then, in my state of drowsiness from being like asleep I guess I must have just disabled like as usual this always happens I in a state of drowsiness um, in a state of channeling Maya left the channeling chamber Maya escaped the channeling chamber the defendant escaped the channeling chamber Von Karma says something like that and it's like my favorite line in Ace Attorney because it's just like uh, it's so iconic you know reunion and turnabout might be my favorite case. You know, when I think about it, if in an... I worry sometimes that my opinions are not my real opinions. Like, for example, imagine an alternate reality in which Bridge to the Turnabout and Farewell My Turnabout is everyone's least favorite cases. Would I really have put them as my top cases in that alternative reality? I don't think so. 
I'm too influenced by others. That's the problem here. You know, and we used to talk about this in school too. Uh, it's probably the most intellectual school I ever got. Because that's a pretty intellectual thought right there. You know, so, you know, the teacher, you know, the social studies teacher that was, he wasn't all that bad. Not all the time, anyway. I, th I think oftentimes he said a lot of libtard baloney, which made me very angry. But, it wasn't all bad. But some bad, but. Anywho. You know, how, how many of my opinions are influenced by others? And I don't want them to be influenced by others. I mean, influenced by others is fine to an extent. Like, for example, you know, Joseph Anderson's video really opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Uh, and so did Barry Kramer and Matthew Matosis. And I guess it is true that I've been influenced by them. But I still count that as being my own opinion at the end of the day. Just that they were able to open my eyes is all. But when I think about farewell my turnabout and re and bridge to the turnabout <laughs> bridge to the turnabout uh, it's like I wouldn't really say that anyone has opened my eyes to how good the cases are that's that's nonsense no one has done that so then I have to ask myself from my experience is are those two cases really the best cases are they really I don't think they are maybe they aren't I, it, I put them as my top cases on on the tier list but maybe I'm just too influ too influenced by others. And if I were, I should make a new tier list to try to be less biased. Keep that in mind. Like, or biased as in influenced by others. Maybe I should make another one with the purpose, with the intent of trying hard to not be influenced by others. Because I really don't want to be, my... Because imagine an alternate reality where everyone's opinions about the cases are reversed. Would my opinions be any different in that reality? Maybe they would be. And that's the scary thing. That's a scary thing right there. You know, it's like kind of an ego thing. You know, the Buddhists will say, well, well, dude, let go of your ego. And I'm like, well, fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to let go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> Donald Trump. That, that's a skit I saw. It's a libtard skit. Um, d uh, portraying Trump as a child. And I have to admit that it's pretty funny. But it's it's still pretty much a little libtard baloney. But it's pretty funny, actually. Load of lip tied baloney. Yarpe Mecca. Schlag mich. What? I couldn't even do that. One time I one time when I was at the murderer, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I tried to kill someone who was in here and I couldn't do it. I had to wait for them to come out. Anywho, stop saying that. <laughs> I should keep saying it just because it's pretentious. <laughs> Anywho, uh, the thing uh, I get that from the you know the emoji movie trailer. I rewatched that the other day, like yesterday. It's it's um it's terrible. But it's kind of funny at the same time, though. I guess it's not that bad. Doesn't have to be your family. That barely makes any sense. Uh, that's a pretty basic joke, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Seems like my sense of humor. No, my se <laughs> Oh my god, Toshino Kyoko! Toshino Kyoko! We have a Toshino Kyoko on this... In this game. <laughs> and, and she seems to... 
She se she is seemingly the murderer. Toshino Kyoko. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you, Toshino Kyoko. <laughs> oh man, if only I could type. Ah, uh, I'm muted. Oh, I got this video anyway. Don't want to.